I was emptying my pool. I was tired of running the filter and pouring chemicals into it. I decided to turn it into a pond, as it wasn't being used. After I had emptied and cleaned it, the rain partially filled it again. I noticed a few frogs calling in the dark and sitting around by the pond. But also a cane toad. About a week later I noticed some tadpoles in there. Seeing I was about to scrub the pool, I didn't want to subject them to cleaning products. So I scooped them out and relocated them into a fish tank. I wasn't quite sure if they were frogs or cane toads. If they were cane toads, I probably would have seen this. Cane toad eggs. But I didn't see them or frog eggs, so I had no way of knowing. If they were cane toads, I knew I would have to dispose of them. Being an animal lover, that would have been hard to do. They're out there. They're hiding. They're watching you. Queensland backyard bugs and birds. I observed them in the tank for a long time. They grew fairly quickly and I followed the stages of growth. Frogs are amphibians, which means that they can live in water or on land. They go through several stages of life before they become adult frogs, and during these stages, they live only in water. A frog begins life as a fertilised egg. A female frog lays lots of eggs at one time in a pond. The eggs float on water in a jelly mass or cluster. The eggs will soon hatch into tadpoles. When the tadpole hatches it looks more like a fish than a frog. It doesn't have any legs, it has gills that allow it to breathe under water. The tadpole swims, eats plants and algae from the water and grows for several weeks. During this time, the tadpole starts to develop lungs, so it will be able to breathe out of the water when it becomes a frog. You can see its heartbeat at this stage. The tadpole also starts to grow two hind legs. Some develop faster than another. Now it can leap around instead of only swimming. Although the tadpole is starting to look a little more like a frog, it still has a very long tail. The tadpole grows two front legs. These legs grow under a fold of skin, and when the time is right, it shakes its front leg out, as if by magic. And very soon, they are more like frogs than tadpoles. Their transformation is almost complete and soon they'll leave the water to begin their life on land. Its long tail becomes shorter and shorter. The tadpole uses the nutrients stored in its tail for food, so until its tail is completely gone, it doesn't need anything else to eat. Then, just a little stub of its tail is left and the tadpole is a young frog. It hops right out of the water and onto dry land for the first time. The frog is still very small. Its tail will eventually disappear completely and it will start to eat insects instead of plants from the water. The young frog will grow for about two to four years to become an adult. I released them as they became ready, free to go and mate, lay their eggs and hatch more tadpoles and begin the cycle again.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.